everybody. I'm Elizabeth Alfano, and this is the Plant-Based Business Minute. Each week, I report on three top headlines. I break them down in a minute or less. Let's get into it. TechCrunch reports that $1.5 billion was raised in the first half of 2020 alone. We might expect this for plant-based proteins. We might expect this for even cell-cultured technology. What might surprise people is that fermented proteins is a big part of this large raise. From the Good Food Institute, Liz Specht has this to say, fermentation is powering a new wave of alternative protein products with huge potential for improving flavor, sustainability, and production production efficiency. Investors and innovators are recognizing this market potential, leading to a surge of activity in fermentation as an enabling platform for the alternative protein industry as a whole. My business bottom line here, oh, if you like beer, you know that fermentation is nothing new. But fermented proteins are now going to make their way into products and onto grocery store shelves. Nestle's back in the news. They are saying that their plant-based products are up 40%. CEO Mark Schneider has this to say, people have a renewed interest in personal health and losing weight, as COVID particularly affects those with pre-existing health conditions. My business bottom line here is that COVID has forced people to advocate for their own health. Because of this, meat and dairy has lost customers that when and if COVID is ever over, they will never see again. In 2019, an independent think tank, Rethink X, said that by 2030, meat and dairy would be dead. Everybody declared it was vegan fantasy land. But recently, at an alt protein conference, Ryan Bethencourt, founder of Wild Earth Vegan Pet Food and guest on the Plant Based Business Hour, he had this to say. It is becoming increasingly obvious to investors, startups making products from plants, cultured animal cells, and microbes, and the world's leading meat and dairy companies that there are more efficient and sustainable ways to feed people. We don't use typewriters. I don't ride in a horse and buggy. And COVID or no COVID, we have turned a corner and we are never going back to meat and dairy. This has been the Plant-Based Business Minute. I'm Elizabeth Alfano. If you would like a deeper dive into the plant-based business world, please check out my podcast, The Plant-Based Business Hour. And of course, if you are a small vegan company or large meat and dairy, and you are looking to navigate the plant-based landscape, you can of course reach out to me on LinkedIn. Until I see you again next week, together we're taking back our health, the health of the planet, and the health of our bottom line.